you the truth. This really happened. Not getting enough sleep, your body will shut down. One year I was working for, um, well, we had to get a security clearance to um, work uh, <coughs> during the championships when the um, Indiana coach came to play the Miami Dolphins. We were downtown at the Marriott. We had to get a uh, security clearance to work there. They had security on every floor, every door, all over the place. We were working along with SWAT and the Miami Dade Police Department. We had to park our vehicles and get, uh, get on the van to get down there because there were so many people. <coughs> Wasn't a lot of parking, so. <coughs> but in the process of getting out the van and going to the Marriott, in this intersection, we were crossing the intersection, and there was a uh, police officer's car parked right there. We looked over at him, and he was knocked out asleep. His body had shut down, and we were walking past, just laughing. Then look at this cop, knocked out. Your body just shuts down in his patrol vehicle right there in the middle of this intersection downtown Miami. He made it to the building and we were all assigned a door. We were on the second floor, my group was, and they told us we don't want nobody falling asleep. And some of us were working two jobs and we were already tired leaving work. So I knew that wasn't going to happen. So about two in the morning, um, you can look down the hallway to the left, I mean to the, to the right and the left, and everybody um, were, was in position. We were allowed to sit down. We all had chairs uh, in this hallway. And about two in the morning, <clears throat> I heard people snoring. Looked to my left and my right, and everybody was bent over. And some of them were snoring. It was the funniest thing. I was tired too. I thought, well, I'm good ready to close my eyes and relax. And I did. I fell asleep. I was even dreaming. I heard some, someone talking it was from a distance, and I remember waking up, and I shook myself. And I thought, oh, my goodness, I, I fell asleep, and I was even dreaming. These people are still asleep. I heard some voices coming. Just before they got around the corner, I heard my name. It was my supervisor saying, if anybody's awoke, that it was me. And soon they hit the corner, I said, good morning, real loud. And he said, you see, I told you. Then one time we were out um, <coughs> doing some field training, training along with the um, 2nd Armored Division. And we were so tired, trained. We were fully loaded with our backpacks and all of our machine guns and our assigned weapons also. Some had um, the grenade two, M203, M203 grenade launchers and mine was, I had the, I was the dragon gunner. My job was to stop tanks. So we carried all this equipment and we were marching all night. We were stopping rest, march, stopping rest. Seemed like for hours. And this equipment is very heavy. At one point they told us to um, to get down. Everybody get down. I think we were trained against another battalion. At the same time we were doing the road march. We were so tired. When they told us to get down, hit the dirt, be still. We laid there so long, I heard snoring. When the command was given to move out, very few people got up. We were told to go and get these soldiers up, wake them up, let's move out. I went over to a few of them to shake them 
and some of them would not move. I was laughing so hard. These people are totally drained. The leadership was getting upset because they were not moving. The troops were not getting up and moving out. I was sleep too. I remember snapping out of it and getting up. And I was told also, get these men up, get these men up. We were shaking them. them. Come on. Some of them were snatched back. Leave me alone. It took him like 30 minutes to get everybody up. And they were telling us to shake them, shake them, get them up. And I was laughing so hard trying to do this. It was one of the highlights of their training. They were so totally drained. Every cell in your body is drained. Your body shuts down and goes to sleep as a safety mechanism. They were yelling and screaming, get them up, now get up, let's move out. And one of them even actually was getting upset, snatching his arm back. <laughs> Leave me alone. Now, virtually, this, this really happened. Okay, something recent, something recent. I was working uh, recently, I was working the night shift. And I was doing some projects when I left the night shift. So I stopped by another building to ask a friend if she needed help. And sometimes I would do that randomly and, and um, she did. I think we worked for the same company, um, I have to uh, ability to do that. So she told me, I, I need you to work these hours until 2 in the morning. I said, fine. I, one of my jobs was to um, switch the, um, the railroad track over to where the train came in to unload in this warehouse very unusual um, thing, but this is what they did on this job. So I did all that. And um, the train came in, and I did my other duties, and I went to the office, and there's this huge window where, it's right in front of the building where employees come and go, and they can see you, there's this big, huge window. And my desk is right there. Once I sat down, my body slowly began to shut down. I began to shake myself and says, uh oh, this is, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to keep going here. But before I knew it, I was out. One of the employees took my picture and sent it around to the uh, supervisor. Look what we got here. I didn't know someone had took my picture. I remember snapping out of it and finishing up the rest of the, um, uh, my assignment and locking everything down. Came back the next day and uh, she took her phone and I said, they, they got you. They got me what? She said, got <laughs> you. They got you. So, I I seen one of the supervisors coming down the hallway. I said, I'm so sorry. He said, man, that was so funny. That was so funny. And went on about his business. Mm -hmm. Diversity too. This.